Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a Elf first impressions. This is actually a requested video. Um, I haven't. I've only got one product of Elf previously, so it's the um, baked highlighter. I think it's a Moonlight or something like that, um, which I really like. But I haven't tried any other of Elf products. So I'm going to do a whole face of first impressions, and um, I thought I'd really test it out today. So usually when I do so I'm going to be doing a wear test as well with the foundation and stuff. Um, usually when I do that I do it on my day off but I decide to get up a bit early before I go to work, put this all on so I can really test out the foundation and the makeup and stuff um, because I have, well, I'm on my feet at work so I'm quite active so it's a good test to kind of um, see how it works. But it's probably is going to be more makeup than I, what I usually would wear to work but I just thought it would be a good way to test out like the foundation and stuff like that. So if you'd like to see my first impression on some e.l.f. products then please keep on watching. So I'm going to start with the face first and I'll start with primer. Now e.l.f. did so many different primers I wasn't really sure what to go for. So I kind of went for the general looking primer so I think. So this is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. It's a multi-purpose primer, preps your skin, fills in fine lines, so make it goes on evenly for a long-lasting matte finish. Now, obviously you know I'm a luminous person, but I thought, let's have a try and use products that are more suitable for my skin. So, because I do have oily combinations. So that's what it looks like out of the packaging, very beautiful. Like I said, they did so many different primers, different colours, I was like, I don't really know what I need. Okay, so this is definitely more of a silicon feeling, it's very soft. I focus this more on the T-zone, it's meant for um, mattifying, that's where I get really oily. Okay, so next foundation, so I've got um, the Oil Free SPF 15 Sunscreen Flawless Finish Foundation. Put in shade Natural, and apparently it previously was called Porcelain. So I think it's, this is the lightest shade they had, so we'll have to see how this works on my skin. It says it's a lightweight and oil free formula, it's designed to help even your skin tone for a long lasting, beautiful, semi matte finish. Again, I prefer luminous stuff, but I thought maybe I should start trying things that are more suitable for my skin type. And it does have SPF 15, so it's a great one for the day to keep sun protection and stuff like that. It comes a really nice kind of frosted uh, glass. Is it glass? I think it is. Um, I mean, that doesn't look too bad shade wise, but I obviously have to apply it to my skin to really find. It has a bit of a moussey texture, I feel like, even though it's a lightweight. But Oh, I have to say, it is slightly fragrance this foundation, so if you don't like f uh, fragrance in your foundations, you might not like this. I'm just going to use my sponge to blend this in. I mean, it's blending in very quickly. I think that's a pretty good match, actually. And maybe like half a shade too dark for me, which is typical from the drugstore, but it's not looking terribly noticeable, I don't think. Yeah, it's blending in very quickly. So I only did um, the one pump on the back of my hand. And so it's definitely, I'd say it's definitely going like, although it's not doing too bad at covering, it's, I say yeah, but it's more of a light covering, but it feels really nice on skin, it's sitting really beautifully actually, and it still has a luminosity to it, so it's not completely matte, which I'm happy about. Okay, so that's one layer on, I think that looks really beautiful on the skin, it's not doing anything weird around my nose like some foundations do, on the chin I will just quickly zoom you in. So I don't think it's a light coverage, it definitely evens out skin tone, but I think that does look really pretty. Like I said, down here, it's not completely covering my spots, but that's fine. And because it's, an S it's got SPF 15, I wouldn't necessarily wear it in the evening if I wanted to take photographs, so I'd keep it more for a daytime. So light coverage is fine by me. I might just see if I can build it up slightly, just to see if it is a buildable foundation. But so far, I have to say... This looks really nice. I'm just going to build up in areas where I need it. So I'm just okay. So that's the. I kind of put another half a pump on my face to see if you can build it up, and you can build it up. It's definitely looking um, added more coverage. It still looks really beautiful on the skin. Okay, then I picked up the Elf HD Lifting Concealer. I picked mine up in the shade Fair. So it says this high definition concealer helps hide imperfections and minimise fine lines. 
Formula infused with vitamin C, green tea and mulberry for skin firming and soothing benefits to provide skin with an even toned and textured look. Some under my eyes, nothing crazy because obviously like I said I am going to work so I'm going to go over the top. Around my redness, around my nose and obviously on these spots. Again I think I'm just going to use my sponge to blend that in. I'm just going to dab some over my eye to kind of act as my primer for later. Okay, so as you can see the blend in, I think it's a really, um, I think it blends in really well, really easy. It's given a good amount of coverage under my eyes. Um, around my spots is giving good coverage, I think, apart from like, I mean this one right here is a real kind of, it almost needs a colour corrector underneath for it to really truly be covered. So, um, but that I don't mind, but I think it's just everything sitting really beautifully on the skin at the moment, which I like. Now moving on to powder. Now I went a bit wrong with powder. I thought I was just picking up a general kind of setting powder. It turns out I just picked up a HD under eye setting powder. Um, so I'm gonna have to go in with a different powder to set my T-zone area, but for under my eyes, I will give this a go. So it's a light diffusing powder, helps to camouflage fine lines, cir dark circles and imperfections. Silky powder as a velvety finish, perfect for wearing alone or setting in cream concealer. Vitamin C and K infused formula helps restore and strengthen skin for a revitalised appearance. So that's what it comes in. It's got a small little, little tub. I'm going to use my setting brush as always. Pick up a little bit. I'm just going to tap it in. I like to, with under my eyes, just tap the product in so I don't move the concealer underneath. Definitely a very um, lightweight feeling powder. I feel like it hasn't changed the colour of the concealer, which is gonna oh it kind of almost look airbrushed slightly. See I think that looks so beautiful under the eye, it's not looking cakey. I think the thing is when you do like a face that's all one brand, the products do you do find they kind of all work together, which is great. But I don't think it's gonna be strong enough to hold my oil in place for my T-zone, so I will just quickly grab a different powder for that section. Take my collection powders away. Then I picked up a contour palette, and I think they did do cream contours, this is just a powder one, and I think this is a universal shade as well, so this is what it looks like, typical sleek packaging, sorry I'll blind you. So you get a highlight, this uh, shimmer highlight, you get, well this is meant to be a matte highlight, but obviously for my skin tone it's not going to work, and then two contour shades, I think this one's going to be too warm for my skin tone, I prefer like something a bit more ashy, so I think I'm going to go in with this one to do a little bit of contouring, nothing heavy because obviously... Like I said, I'm going to work on. Let's take a little bit on my. This is a Geo Fiber contour brush from Real Techniques. It is quite dark on the skin. Make sure I really blend it out because it's actually quite a dark shade. Blending out really nicely, I think. I'd say maybe the shade is a little bit, maybe just a little bit too dark for my skin tone. Um, but it's the right kind of tone, I think, though. I think I just need to go in with a slightly softer hand so it's not too intense. Okay, this I'm really excited for. This is the uh, Beautiful Bear Natural Glow Face Palette, fresh and flawless. So it's a 3-in-1 total face palette, includes a Beautiful Bear bronzer, highlighter and two blushes. Weightless, silky formula, it's perfect for sculpting and adding a soft natural dimension to the face for fresh natural glow. With a mix of complementary matte and shimmer shades, you can achieve a naturally flawless look. Okay. Ooh, so different packaging. I just put fingerprints all over it, which is great. Oh, this looks so pretty. So this is what you've got. So, the bronzer, the two blushes, and a highlighter. Now I have to say, I might that highlighter is looking darker than the one in the contour kit, so I may use the contour kit highlighter, but we'll just see for now. I'm going to bronze up my skin a little bit. So I'm taking on my blush brush from Little Techniques. I'm just doing a light dusting. Oh, it's a really pretty bronzer. It works well for my skin tone. Beautiful bronzer. It's nothing, it's very natural looking on the skin like it says it was going to be. It's definitely given some nice warmth to my skin, but nothing too over the top. This is really... Right, let's go in with a blush. you kind of got... I think they're both kind of more... This is slightly more pink. This is slightly more coral, I'd say. I'm going to go with, I think, the slightly deeper coral shade. Ooh. It's a very subtle blusher, which I think is actually really nice. I'd rather work with subtle blushes and build them up rather than really intense pigmented blushes because otherwise 
things could go wrong very quick. Oh. oh, that's really pretty on the skin. Okay, now this highlighter, like I said, it looks darker than all in the contour kit. Okay, so that's... Let's have a little... Ooh. I don't know. Right, let's have a little play. Oh no, it's giving something. Actually. I can't see any like shimmer or glitter to it, which is perfect because that's kind of my kind of um, highlighter. Oh, that's actually very pretty. I might just quickly, for my nose and cupid's bow, just use this highlighter so I can get a bit, use, a bit of use out of this one. So this is the one I thought was going more for my skin tones. So this is probably going to be a bit more of a um, lighter highlighter. was pretty. Now, if you're someone who likes really blinding highlights, I don't think this is going to be for you. This is more for people who like that kind of light to medium kind of highlight effect. Okay, so I've got one more face product to try out. And for some reason, I actually picked up two of these. So hopefully it's good. So this is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Um, so it prevents colours from running or fading to help keep your makeup in place all day. This lightweight, oil-free formula helps soothe the skin while key ingredients Aloe, green tea, cu cucumber, vitamins A, C, and E. Oh, with king, okay. Fine, so hopefully this is good. So. The mist isn't too bad. It's not the finest of mist, but it's not one that's like splattering me. That's all the face products. So, so far, so good. I'm going to move on to. Um, Eyebrows, so I got the brow pencil in Deep Brown from e.l.f. This is another one of their new products. Let's give a brush. I really need to actually sort out my brows. Oh, good shade, good shade. It's quite pigmented actually. This is a really nice cool toned colour. Which really matches my eyebrows. Now I'm not going to do anything crazy with my brows today. Like, like I said, I have a fringe. You can't really see them, so I'm just going to fill them in when they need to and kind of create a slight shape. Just like, so I, I mean, that was quite quick, wasn't it? I mean, that's the brow filled in. That was actually really quick. I like this pencil's really nice. It felt quite hard, but it, when you brush through it, it blends out really easily, which is great. Moving on to eyes. So I picked up one of their palettes. This is their Nude Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette. Again, it's a new one. That looks exciting. Beautiful shades you get. There's one, two, three definite mattes in there. You've got this one here, which kind of has a slight shim sheen to it, and then you've got one, two, three, four, but more five shimmer shades. So, a really beautiful collection. You can create something really pretty and soft here, or you can kind of smoke it out a little bit down this end. But you can actually use them, use them dry for a subtle wash of colour, or you can actually wet it to create a slightly more pigmented look. Let's watch this brown here. Oh, it's pretty pink. That's a pretty champagne. And let's do this one here at the end. I'd say they do seem a little powdery, but let's have a little. Oh, you can't really see that one, okay. That's better. Okay. I mean, there is colour to them. Like I said, they are a little bit powdery, but the true test really is to see what it's like on my eyes. So let's start. I'm going to start with this matte shade here, see if I can build a transition. I think it might be a bit too light, but let's have a little go. So yeah, you do definitely get fallout, so you need to tap it. Let's see if I can build. Okay, now that it's showing up. It's definitely, like I said, it is, did say it was a natural, soft eyeshadow palette. Yeah, it's like they're not the most pigmented eyeshadows. I mean, it's definitely colour there. There you are. I mean, they're not um, the most blendable eyeshadow. Okay, so that's that shade in. Then I'm going to go and take this matte shade at the end here, slightly deeper version, to kind of build up the crease area, using the same brush again. So the colour, actually, the pigmentation is really nice. 
Um, it did say like if you use them dry it gives a, a flush of a uh, wash of colour whereas if you wet them they do more pigmented. But this is dry and it's a nice pigmentation. I'd say it takes a lot of blending to really blend the eyeshadows out but once they are blended it looks really pretty. You just kind of have to work and blend with these I think. But let's have a little try at a shimmer shade now. I think I'm going to take this really pretty kind of um, shimmery gold here. Just on my flat brush. Let's have a little... I have to say, I think at the moment the uh, shimmer shades are applying a lot better and easier and blend out easier than the um, matte, shade did, matte shades do. But it is a very pretty, it's a really pretty palette and it gives some really pretty um, colours. It kind of reminds me of kind of like a, almost like a bridal palette. Okay, then I, oh no. I realised I picked up this and I was going to use this as a base today. Okay, so maybe I'll use this in a different video. I was going to use this as kind of like my eyeshadow base. So it's the Aqua Beauty Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in Rose Gold. I'll do a quick swatch. I'm really sad about this. Oh, man. So this is a wash, wash this liquid eyeshadow over your lids for a vibrant metallic look and an irresistible cooling effect. The formula is infused with purified water and vitamin heat to help hydrate. Maybe I could put a little bit on my eyes. Let's have a little. But that's pretty. Maybe I'll just pop like a little bit in the inner corner. A bit here. And let's blend it into the inner corner. I'm just going to use my finger just to blend that out, I think. Oh, it's pretty. Just lightened the inner corner of my eyes. So we'll have to play around again with that in another video because I didn't get true, like, play with this with eyeshadow, as I just did. It works perfectly fine. We'll have to see if it kind of creases in the little bit in the inner corner here. Okay, then I picked up, um, this is another new product from e.l.f. It's the Intense ink eyeliner in the blackest of ink. This is more of their pen eyeliner. So it's a quick dry formula, instantly enhances the lash line with rich long lasting colour, glides on smooth without smudging, feathering or running. Felt tip pen allows you to create either a sleek or a bold line with precision. So yeah, it has like a felt tip pen. I'm going to do quite a thin one uh, today. See how precise I can be. Definitely a nice black colour. I just want to do a small wing. It's relatively easy to use. I think because the um, tip isn't like, it's quite a firm tip. That'll do, that looks pretty. It did, I found, like skid a little bit over the lid, um, which was slightly annoying, but I mean, that's pretty. Actually, because the pen, the end of the nib is quite thin, it makes it, you can really get up close to the lash line, which is great. I think it's a real good test of an eyeliner if you can create a really thin, not it's not really thin, but like a small wing liner without it accidentally getting over the top. Because I find so many times with um, eyeliners where if it's slightly hard to use, I end up getting thicker and thicker. But this worked beautifully. I still think I prefer my 100% pure um, liquid one, but um, I always think for beginners, pens are almost slightly easier. So this one works really well. So I've got the e.l.f. Volume Ising and Defining Mascara in Jet Black. They had quite a few mascaras, but Volumizing is my favourite kind of mascara. So it comes in nice white packaging like this. A um, bendy wand. And it is a plastic wand as well. So it's quite wet for me, so you have to be careful. I have to say, I'm not sure about the volume aspect. It's definitely defining lashes. It's really giving separation. It's not, like I say, it's definitely not giving volume. It gives definition, I'd say, separation. I'm not sure about the volume aspect so far. It gives a pretty um, finish, but I don't see the volume. So that doesn't really make sense. And I gave a couple of coats to the upper lash line. I have to say, I'm quite fussy when it comes to mascaras and what I like. I mean, it does look pretty, but... Anyway, the last product is a matte lip colour from e.l.f. obviously, and it's in the shade Natural. So, oh, sharpener included. A smooth pigment rich colour glides on effortlessly and provides long lasting matte colour. Enriched with vitamin A, C and E formula helps moisturise and hydrate lips. So it's got a shot. It is a cream lipstick and it has a point so you can keep it nice and pointed. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, natural. 
It's a very pretty uh, pink shade, so something a bit more on a, a day appropriate colour. So that's Okay, so that's it glided on I'm not sure it's my kind of shade I'm not sure how I feel about the shade of it the formula is really nice it glides on really well I wouldn't say it's the most pigmented um, uh, color and I don't know if it's it's not completely matte it's definitely got um, it's definitely movable it's definitely movable and it's got a still slight sheen to it so I don't say it's completely a matte lipstick um, I like the fact it's got sharp nuts, great so you can keep it pointed, so it was easy to apply, really do a nice kind of application. Um, and it's a really nice day appropriate kind of lipstick, like I said, it's not the most pigmented, I just don't think I'm this a fan of this shade. Really nice, but the formula is really nice, so maybe I'll give this a go but in a different colour. So this is the finished look, I think everything is looking really nice, I'm going to switch up this lip colour before I go to work because it's just not my kind of shade unfortunately. Impressed with everything I have to say, um, mascara, although it looks pretty on the eyes, definitely doesn't do what it says, so um, everything else, like the face products, I'm really really in love with, it kind of sits on my skin really beautifully, nothing's looking cakey, the shade like I said is probably a bit off but um, I'm used to that so it's fine. So it's now, oh crap, <laughs> so it's now almost ten past nine, I need to actually get changed and go. Um, it was quite a good way of really testing out, especially the foundation, with me wearing it to work as, a, as opposed to me testing it on a day off kind of thing. I will see you at the end of the day. So I am back, it is now, so it's twenty past five, so the makeup's been on my face for just over eight hours, which is slightly longer than I like to have my makeup on for. I'm like I said, I work, it's been active and stuff so I've had a proper test of the makeup so I'm going to actually talk through each product individually and give my kind of final thought. First of all was the e.l.f. mineral uh, infused face primer now it's more of a silicone base which isn't kind of my preferred formula I like luminous stuff but I decided like I said before I wanted to give oil free things a go it felt really nice it went on really nicely um, in terms of the foundation like I said at the beginning I really really loved it I thought it's definitely a light coverage to medium buildable kind of coverage it's very lightweight it still looks very pretty natural my freckles are still showing through I think it lasted pretty well I am looking shadowy down my t-zone which is, tends to happen it has been on my skin for eight hours so I can forgive that. Um, however, even though it's looking shiny, nothing has separated or kind of gone weird, so it just looks shiny. So, had I powdered throughout the day, I think this would last really, really well. Because sometimes with foundations, when they start to get my oil comes through, they start to separate and stuff, but it hasn't separated at all, it's just looking very shiny. Yeah, like I said, it has my foundation has disappeared from my nose, which tends to happen anyway. Um, my face did come in contact with steam throughout the day as well, so that's another factor. So I think I actually really like this foundation. If this is what it's like after eight hours without powdering, then fair enough. Um, so next time, obviously, I will just try and top it with powder, and I think it would last and look still look beautiful after the six or eight hours. Do the concealer again that's lasted really well. Um has a little bit sunken into my fine lines so it could be the concealer or it could be the strength of the under eye powder. Uh, this is a great colour. I think it gave really nice coverage under the eyes. Um, in terms of putting on spots it did a reasonable coverage like I said this one's a just a not very good spot. I need to colour correct this one to be able to really cover it properly or something that's a bit more full coverage. So say again, light to medium coverage with this. Really liked it. It blends out beautifully. Again, in terms of the under eye, I still wish I bought a powder one, but an under eye one, it looks, I mean, it's, it's the fact, the concealer's still there. Like I said, it has a little bit sunk into my lines. I don't know for which product that is. I think this is really nice. It kind of, right at the beginning, it kind of gave a nice airbrush finish, which I really liked. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's a really nice product as well. Okay, on to the contour palette. Now, I did actually look up on the e.l.f. because I got everything off Superdrug. I looked on the e.l.f. website and they do have two palettes. So this is the light one for my skin tone. Like I said, this it doesn't really going to highlight me. It's a bit too dark. Um, and that's too warm to contour. This is like the right tone. It's just a little bit... I mean, it's not too dark for my skin. I think it actually worked really nicely and like I said they blended really nicely over unset skin which I really like. They didn't look powdery on the skin. 
this highlighter as well was really pretty. If you're someone who doesn't like a really blinding highlight, then you're not going to like this one. It's more on the subtle side. But I overall like this palette. Again, I just wish they had more shades of this palette. On to this beautiful palette. So it comes with this. This bronzer is really nice. Um, again, like I said, it works beautifully over unset skin. As does the blusher. I went for this blusher. I wish they had kind of two different shades of blusher tones because they look very similar. The formula is really beautiful. Uh, this highlighter I was surprised because I thought it wasn't going to show up particularly well on my skin. And uh, I put it here, this one, and it does. It shows, again, if you like a blinding highlight, you're not going to like this. But I prefer a slightly more subtle, almost like it's my skin that is naturally glowing. In terms of the setting spray, it's kind of difficult to say, kind of, because my skin, apart from the shininess, my skin still looks and... Uh, looks quite nice and nothing's disappeared apart from around the nose so it's always hard to say if it's the primer, the foundation or the setting spray that is the contributing factor to that um, so I'll have to see what it's like with other foundations I've tested before and I know how long they last anyway to really know how if this is working so on to the eyebrow pencil I really like this I thought it was going to be quite hard to begin with but um, it warms up really quickly. A really nice shade from eyebrows. It didn't take too long to fill I'm someone who just wants to fill it in, maybe get a little bit of a, bit of a shape going, but that's about it. And I think it worked really nicely. It's spooly in the end, which is always a great thing to have with a brow product. And yeah, I think I would recommend this brow pencil. On to eyes. So we've got the eye palette. This is the Nude Rose Gold. This is a beautiful palette. Really nice, beautiful shades. I created a really beautiful eye. I just found that the mattes you needed to, um, it took you need to work with them to blend them out. They weren't the blend like the most blendable mattes eyeshadows I've ever used. And the shimmers actually, the shimmers were really nice and sat really beautifully on the lid. I do get quite oily eyelids, and they seem to have lasted reasonably well. I think there are eyeshadows. There are other eyeshadows that are better. So that Barry M palette I tested recently. I love a lot and I'd say maybe their eyeshadows are better than e.l.f. eyeshadows. So if I had to like pick my top products from here, this probably wouldn't be included. However, it's not something I'd say is a miss either. They aren't the worst things I've used, but like I said, I've used better so from the drugstore. So and with this product, I'm so annoyed I forgot to use it the way I wanted to use it. But I did pop a little bit in the inner corner of my eye, so it's the Aqua Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in shade. Rose gold. I thought when I purchased this, I kind of had these two in mind to go together because they're both rose gold themed. So I only popped some on the inner section of the lid here, and I have to say, it hasn't like uh, disappeared. Or um, you know how some cream or liquid eyeshadows can sink into the crease and leave lines. It doesn't seem to have done that. I mean, like I said, I've only done it on the inner corner, so it's probably not a true test. So I think I do need to play around this a bit more. But from what I've done today. I think it's really nice. Elf uh, pen liner, I really like this. Um, it allowed for me to create the exact size eyeliner that I wanted to. Um, and the wand is quite firm, so it's not going to, um, you can draw like a nice line. I would say, um, oh, the other thing is because it's quite thin at the end, you can really get quite close to your lash line, so there's no little gaps. One thing I just noticed, it did slightly skid over my eyelid slightly um, so that's probably the one downside but apart from that it's nice it's lasted well I don't know if it's smudges it doesn't like it's when it says it was long lasting it's definitely long lasting I'm rubbing that and nothing's coming off apart from the eyeshadow um, so yeah I would definitely recommend I recommend this product hey, the mascara now um, mascara has not transferred at all anywhere on the lid, um, so that's a good thing. It did give my lashes length, it gave them separation, and it made them look very pretty. But it's described as a volumising mascara, which that it did not do. Does that make sense? Which it didn't do that, so, um... There's no point getting this, I don't think. You might as well get one that's going to be for lengthening and separation because it's probably going to get the same effect, be just as beautiful. So I'd give this a miss purely because it doesn't do what it claims to do. It still looks very nice on the eyelashes, but I bought it with the intention for having, with the intentions that it was going to be volumising. So that's probably the one disappointing product so far. And the final thing was the matte lipstick. Now I couldn't really test this out properly. Um, 
I had to just put it up because obviously, like I said, the colour actually I didn't enjoy. I didn't think it was going to be as light pink as it was. I'm just not a baby pink lip kind of person, really. Um, having said that, it went on really easily. It's really creamy. You get a sharpen on the bottom, so you can always have like a nice point to it. Um, it sat really nice on the lips, comfortable, and more of a semi-matte as opposed to matte finish. So, like I said, very comfortable on the lips, had some movement. Um, I don't know how long this lasts because, like I said, it's not my kind of colour. And when I put it on, I just didn't like it, so I had to take the colour off. So I'm going to have to try a different shade of this. So I can't say yes or no to this product yet. Um, uh, if you Let me know if you've tried this product and if it's long-lasting or not. Because the initial the formulation actually seems quite nice. Obviously, I don't know about the long-lasting. It's just the shade. I just didn't really like it. So that was the shade Natural. So that is this video complete. Like I said, I actually enjoy the majority of things here. Um, the things I'd say uh, maybe give a miss is obviously the mascara. If you want volumizing, don't get this one. Um, I'd also say maybe... I mean, it's beautiful shades, but I just think they're a better quality at the drugstore that are slightly more affordable, like Barry M. So maybe give this one... Maybe look at other drugstore eyeshadows um, what else what else but everything else I think I really liked I'd have to say my favorite products are these two the brow product I actually really enjoy it like I said it was really quick really easy gives a nice natural brow the perfect shade Nice spoolie, everything like that. So I'd really like that one. And the foundation as well. I really like this foundation. I know I'm looking shiny now, but that's because I didn't bother pow uh, powdering and it has been on my skin eight hours and I am an oily person. So I think it's done pretty well. I really like how it looks on the skin. I, if, you're like someone, if you're someone who's a full coverage person, you won't like this, but I'm not a full coverage person. So this is beautiful, I think. Um, but everything else I did really enjoy as well. So I'll definitely be using this in future videos. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Um, let me know if you've tried any elf products and what you thought of them. And if there are any elf products that you absolutely love that I didn't try here that you think I should be trying, then please do let me know as well. And yeah, leave your future, leave your video requests coming and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.